Hey guys, Taco Mage here. I'm bringing you another traditional tutorial today on the Batania tree farm that I created. This is slightly different than the one that I did in my Magicorp series, so you'll see some things new. And the other nice thing about this tree farm is it's very early game. You can do it as soon as you can do a runic altar and tier three runes. So let's get cracking, shall we? Uh, to build this, you're gonna need a sticky piston, two pieces of dirt or something to plant on. I recommend using a Batania colored grass that way it sets it apart from surrounding grass and prevents it from uh, planting trees where you don't want it uh, some sort of uh, block in order to act as a a block for the tree block uh, that'll make sense later uh, you're going to need a pulse mana spreader uh, a mana lens set to bore a hovering hourglass nine pieces of redstone two redstone comparators a single redstone torch a mana pool uh, a floating hopper hawk, although you could technically use a regular hopper hawk. Uh, a floating random carpus. I highly recommend floating, although you can make a regular one work. A floating munch dew. This one does need to be floating. Uh, an item frame, something that you're going to use to filter the item frame. A chest for collection, and of course a wand of a forest, and something to time your floating hourglass with. Uh, before we get started, one thing I wanted to make a note is if you use a regular random carpus, uh, you do need to know that when it places a, a block, it actually bases that placement on this block, not the one that it's planted on. So this random carpus will be placing items on this golden grass, which we can show by tossing out this oak sapling by it. As you can see, it placed it on this block because it's using this block to determine where it plants. So that's important to know if you're gonna use a non-floating one. However, a floating random carpus will use the block that is floating over. So again, that's kind of important going forward here. If you can't figure out why yours isn't working and you're using a regular random carpus, that's probably why. So to start, you're gonna need an area dug out that looks exactly like this. It's a little L shape here at two deep and then an area that's six blocks with this little three block area above that and then the rest uh, above just flat and you'll probably want to pave over the area just to make it kind of clear what's going on and it may also help your random carpus plant things in the right area so to build this what you need to do is place a sticky piston here that's one out in this trench so it's facing this kind of open area here and right in front of it place one of your two planting blocks the other planting block should be placed right over here next to your item provider then on top of this grass block, put the brick of choice, in this case our living rock brick. And then here we're gonna put our mana spreader and put the bore lens on it. Next to it, we wanna place our hovering hourglass and then put redstone coming up to here. Then over here, we're gonna place our two comparators. Now one needs to face one direction and the other needs to face the other. What this does is it creates a delay timer or a lock and hold but it's a that's like a three or four second lock and hold you then build redstone out from the other side of it over to this block here and then place your torch right there so what this does is it creates a hold circuit so that whenever this hovering hourglass turns over this hold circuit turns this redstone torch off which then brings the sticky piston in with our grass block the point there is that when this mana spreader fires off with this hovering hourglass it pulls the block out of the way and that is basically how you keep this grass block from being broken by the mana spreader now that everything is set up the next thing you need to do is put a mana pool seven blocks above the ground what that's going to do is collect the mana that's shot out of the spreader so that it can power other things or you can just move, put it back into your main mana system then what we're going to do is place a, a other floating hopper hawk, a regular hopper hawk over here. Put a chest next to it with your item frame and your wood. Basically, that means that this hopper hawk here will only be collecting the wood that your farm is producing. The next thing you need to do is put a floating random carpus other over this block. What that will do is we'll be planting your trees for you. Finally, you need to put a bunch of soul sand into this hovering hourglass. Now, I, for a non-accelerated tree growth, you're gonna want about 15. And it takes a long time for a tree to grow with this much stuff around it, so 15 seconds really does give it, uh, or 15 minutes does give it a pretty good amount of time to do that. 
Okay, finally, now that everything else is set up, the thing you're going to want to do is put three blocks here and then throw your munch do right on top of it. Now, this is the, ex the, the most extreme range that you can put a munch do where it will still connect to this mana spreader. So you're going to need to make sure that it's exactly those three blocks up. If you try to do four blocks, it'll be too high. And the reason that we want it up from the ground like that is that we don't want it to eat the entire tree. We just want it to eat most of the tree, but leaving enough leaves that you're going to be getting enough saplings to keep the system going. And that's pretty much set up as it's going to be. And all you got to do at this point is wait for it to work. As you can see, there it goes. Pulls the dirt out of the way, breaks everything down, and all of your wood is gathered up by this guy. And most of the saplings are gathered up by that guy once it turns over. And that's pretty much it. Now, as I mentioned, it's pretty slow to do it this way, so you may want to just grab yourself some floating aggregations and just sprinkle them all around your tree here to make it go a little bit faster. And that's pretty much it. That's my tree farm. It's pretty simple, uh, maybe a little over elaborate in the redstone department, but I think it works pretty well. And with a bunch of aggregations around it, it uh, turns the trees over about every three to four minutes, so you're going to be able to get quite a bit of wood out of it. And I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.